beautiful day. It might actually hit 70 Fahrenheit. And we're gonna take advantage of the dryness and the warmth and do some foundation sealing. This is something we wanted to do last fall, but winter snuck up on us. And this process is temperature dependent. We're using the Polyguard Polywall system, specifically their home stretch peel and stick flashing. It's a flashing that's really designed for ICFs, but it'll work quite well on this. We're gonna be flashing 12 inches up the grade board. So starting down here, five and a half inches to the top, another five and a half inches brings it to 11, and then an extra inch up onto the zip. To make sure it adheres to all these different materials, we're going to be using a water-based adhesive from Polyguard. We'll apply that adhesive with a roller, let it tack up for an hour or two, it's temperature dependent, and then apply the peel and stick. Finally, we're going to flash the top of that flashing with another piece of zip tape. The top of it will eventually be under our siding, so it's not gonna be exposed to a lot of bumps and bruises. A piece of zip tape should be more than adequate to seal up the top of the poly wall. This is the poly wall adhesive. We've never used it, we've never opened it. I don't even know, I think it might be pink. I don't really know. But we're going to be uh, applying that with a simple roller all the way around. And like I said, letting it set up for a couple hours. The home stretch, this is their quote unquote detail tape, which is basically their normal home stretch product cut into a 12 inch segment. We have 132 feet of it, which is more than enough to go around the entire perimeter of the barn. It is peel and stick, so we're likely to cut it into smaller segments just to make it easier to manage. We had a few areas where there were gaps, and in those areas, we just filled it with open cell foam. Um, right now, it's spewing out, especially as the sun hits it, but we'll cut it off within an hour or so and then put the adhesive over the top of that. We also did something that we should have done a long time ago, and that's remove the grade board around the porch slab here. So we'd put that grade board on, not sure if we were gonna leave it on long term or not, and it became pretty obvious that it was just terrible. <laughs> but we never took it off, because, I don't know, didn't get around to it. Well, since we're gonna be flashing around the foundation, this seemed like a good time to take it off, and so we did. The first thing Robert did this morning was come around with a cloth, wipe everything off, pull some of the sand away so he's got good access to the whole grade board and I think he's ready to start with the adhesive. Actually it's confirmed. So the adhesive is pink and it seems to be attracting bugs so it looks like we may be adding some, you know, uniqueness to this barn. As the adhesive dried, it turned from pink to orange. And uh, it's funny, it's not really tacky. I thought it would be like sticky, but it's it's not. It's, I mean, a little bit tacky, I guess, but not like, not like glue. Robert's cutting the poly wall, and we're gonna start with maybe a 10 foot piece or something like that. If that goes well and we think we can handle the whole roll, then we might try that. Otherwise, we'll stick with smaller strips and overlap every six inches.
We have all the poly wall on, at least where the wall interacts with the ground. And it's looking really good. It goes on pretty nicely. Uh, we're pretty impressed with this stuff. It's thick. It's easy to apply. Um, it goes over bumps pretty well. Uh, we foamed everything to smooth out any dips or valleys or crevices, and it just goes along with it really nicely. Robert's going along the top seam right now and adding an extra piece of zip tape just to finish the flashing here and protect that edge of the poly wall. That should be more than adequate to uh, keep this nice long term. As I mentioned, the siding will, you know, go down to maybe this level or so, maybe a little lower. So that seam will be protected under siding. Around our doors, we've already flashed it with metal curve cut into the concrete and polyurethane. So we just brought the poly wall up over the top of that metal. And our plan was to leave it exposed like that rather than basically adding another type of flashing over the top of it. If you have any other ideas on how to flash this in a way that makes sense, let us know. But I think we're happy with it. Corners like this we've left open until we have a chance to add that curve cut, the Z flashing, etc. So right now we just brought the poly wall up to the apron and terminated it there. That's enough for us to backfill and enough for us to protect you know, that area from water intrusion, but we still have some details to figure out here. Same along the porch here. We intend to do a curve cut with a Z flashing and then to poly wall over the top of it. Very minor risks on this porch um, because, yeah, I mean, we don't get much rain through it. Oh, <laughs>